Gosh, you really uh, have to feel um, for those parents and what they're going through right now. And, and Janet and Stephen, they have hired a private investigator to help them with the search for their daughter. Uh, and Kelly Townsend joins me now uh, on the phone. Um, Kelly, um, it's, it's, a, it's a strange case. Um, hard to wrap my mind around. I was trying to go over all the details today and the timeline and the fact that the car was found um, and that she's missing with the bearded dragon. H have you been able to piece anything together yet? I mean, do you think that she is, is likely still in Arizona at this point? Well, that's very difficult to tell right now. I mean, the circumstances, you're right, uh, they are um, bizarre. Uh, you know, I mean, in the body cam video of the law enforcement officer talking to her, uh, I just recently been, my, my agency's just recently been brought on, uh, but I have an interest in, he recommended for her to go to Love's. And I'm working with the Coconino law enforcement right now and trying to find out, has anybody gone there to check out the CCTV because if she actually mm. followed the officer's advice and was camping there or just sleeping in her car there, did she get approached? And I know the loves, um, those loves uh, gas stations, I guess, truck driver stations, they um, have places where people can sleep. Truck drivers do it all the time, you know, showers and stuff like that. So uh, I'm, I'm right now, we're just trying to gather as much information as we can. Coconino County Sheriff's Department has been outstanding working with us. Uh, some law enforcement departments, they don't work with you just because you're a private investigator. Uh, but because uh, I'm, I'm interested because there was two flat tires, it was out on a dirt road. How far was the uh, body cam video where she was talked to by the police there to where the car was found? You know, I mean, because did somebody interact with her and then they drove down that road? I mean, it, it's, we're, we're all assuming at this point right now because nobody really knows for sure except God. Um, so, you know, right. I mean, that, 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 that's where we are right now. We have had some interesting things come to light just as of today. Uh, matter of fact, just a few hours ago that we're working on that could really generate stuff that we're probably going to want to get out on the news if it, if, it, if it comes to fruition because we may have something that uh, we want the world to look out for. Yeah, I would imagine when you start asking questions and, and, like you said, around that gas station, first of all, the thought of a young woman sleeping alone with just a bearded dragon in a gas station parking lot makes me a little nervous. Uh, well, can you absolutely. share a little more about um, what, you, what you've discovered in the last couple of hours or, you know, give us I a, really a, a can't little at tidbit? This point, I, I really can't because, uh, number one, we have to verify. Number two, we have to interview. And we, these people literally just came up on the radar today. Um, and so we're, we're trying to uh, get interviews set up and uh, composite sketches and things like that. The tidbit about her trying to use, I think it was like euros instead of dollars and, and possibly being disoriented. Um, do you know anything more about that? Because her, you know, her, her parents, you know, told me, you know, she was an artist. It wasn't odd for her to be in the cemetery taking pictures as part of her art project. Um, you know, it, it just seems strange to me that there was that one account that maybe she was, like, disoriented at one point. Yeah, you know, right now I can't say that uh, I would verify that with you right now. I mean, I thought it was a little odd where she was crying, but she, you know, law, the law enforcement officer walked up to her and she was crying. And he asked her and she said it's because she just, took pictures at the, the graveyard and she was weeping for the soldiers. I don't know. I've never personally met Chelsea, but she seems like a nice heart, a very compassionate girl. But was she actually crying and just saying that to law enforcement? You, you follow what I'm saying? Right. Uh, yeah. Stop. Yeah. Or perhaps she was moved by the, by the art project she was working on. It we'll, could, we'll stay in touch well. with you, Kelly. Um, we, we, we want to stay on this story, and uh, I'm glad that you're involved and, and, and assisting tragic, the family. You know, I know you just came on. I think it right. is. Yeah, I feel for those parents. I just want to put out the phone number. Anyone with information, um, you can contact the sheriff's office there. Uh, the number is 928-774-4523. Um, hopefully, uh, we will have some good news to report. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.